Today's blog is progression and prestige. You can obviously see the prestige icons. You can see the mastery camos and a bunch of calling cars behind my webcam. And as I kind of scroll down progression overview. So systems covered in this blog, uh, they're going to be the level unlocks, which are important prestige calling card challenges, weapon camos, as well as reticle challenges are back mastery badges. Uh, and those are the things that after you've done the camos, you got to get kills with the camo and the weapon. And then we also have the uh, metal collection, which is kind of cool. Doesn't say much about the combat record level unlocks global system that is the same across multiplayer round based zombies and war zone on uh, the barracks will have that progression in the level unlocks earn xp to progress through level 55 uh, unlocks and then gain access to weapons equipment score streaks operators and more and then at 55 you get to going to have the option to either just stay there like a lot of people used to do back in the day or get the chance to prestige change your icon get some special rewards and then get a prestige token they can use to permanently unlock a specific item for that next run and you just continue that on as you go through the levels at the top of the screen here you'll see a brief preview of your next progression uh, progression reward so you go over to prestige and then that's kind of how that part works leveling up and locks so as you go through you'll see what you unlock because of the various uh, modes and, and perks and perker colas and all that type of stuff you end up having a system where you're going to be able to unlock multiple things at one time uh, so right here you can see on this one you're going to get the gobble gum a score streak and a a wild card so all of that is getting unlocked at 54. additionally players will unlock eight base operators and a selection of emotes as they progress through one through 55. Relock content note, both operators and emotes do not relock once you choose to embark on the prestige journey. Consult the prestige section of the blog for more details. All right, that's kind of what we expected. You wouldn't expect to lose those. I believe the camo progression stays as well. Black Ops 6 items in Warzone. No, any compatible items that Black Ops 6 that you unlock during the player leveling will become available in Call of Duty Warzone at the start of season one later this year. Gobble gums. All gobble gums are unlocked from the start of the game. The ones listed in the level up are simply bonus gobble gums that give you an extra one time use item. That I, I guess then you can just guarantee you're getting the specific one. I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, all right. So level unlock highlights prestige so 55 is going to be the max level uh, you'll be able to face options take your grind to the next level welcome to black ops 6 prestige not only has classic prestige returned in black ops 6 but also more rewarding version of prestige that call of duty has ever seen with rewards in each prestige themed around a title in black ops history and i think it's two prestiges uh, per game essentially so we have this one here with the icon and you can see it it goes across the screen one two three all the way up to ten uh, and then you'll have the specific prestige challenges once you've uh, hit prestige once and it even says what date you've entered the prestige uh, so you'll be able to track that and then it says that this one is inspired by world at war so this is part of the instant reward uh, you're going to get the operator plus a permanent unlock i believe that's what that is uh, i think that's their icon for that and then as you level up again you'll get these uh progressions and then at the end of this you get a blueprint which i think also unlocks uh the the base weapon so if you happen to get enough of the blueprints uh, through this method, you'll be able to have all the weapons unlocked even after prestige. So what happens when you prestige? Uh, you're going to be able to reset your player to level one. All level unlocks will be relocked and must be unlocked again, except for the base operators, emotes, zombies, gobble gums, as well as anything you permanently unlocked. More on that later. Your loadout will be reset. Uh, lifetime stats will remain viewable in the combat record, but your stats elsewhere in the game will only show stats for your current prestige. However, the following items will not be relocked or reset. Weapon progression camos or reticles. Uh, weapon builds. Your favorite weapons may be relocked, but all the builds you've created for it will be waiting for you when you reach that level needed to unlock it again. Challenge progress and unlock. Store and battle pass content, operators and emotes, as well as the zombies gobble gums. Additionally, any item you have a blueprint or a skin for will remain permanently unlocked via prestige. This means that if you have a blueprint, a blueprint for the AS Val, which is unlocked at level 55 or something, uh, it won't be relocked when you prestige. Same goes for any equipment. So that's pretty, like that's going to make the system so it doesn't feel as punishing when you prestige that 
first, second, or third time or so. Because usually after that, you kind of have your full loadout with all the other perks at that point. Uh, Prestige 1, you're going to immediately receive for the first time, you're going to get the Icon, which is this one. And then you're going to get the Knocked Raider, which we just saw, and one permanent unlock. So that's kind of straightforward there. And then those additional levels, you're going to get different rewards. And so this is going to be times 10. And then they probably have a reward system for uh, once you hit... 10 all the way up to level 1000 there's probably increments in there where you may be going to get rewards so with the token you can use it to unlock a single item of your choice within the player levels you obtain a total of 10 permanent unlocks one per prestige once you complete prestige 10 permanent locks provide no further function as you'll be already max level and you're never going to reset back to one permanent unlocks example if you don't uh okay no we're, we don't need an example we're good uh con prestige leveling oh there it goes uh welcome back to black ops history in black ops 6 each prestige is themed around a game in black ops history featuring a variety of rewards inspired by and paying homage to moments and elements from each of the black ops titles for example prestige one features rewards inspired by the first uh, black ops timeline 2008's call of duty world at war the origin of zombies so that's kind of how that part works and as it goes through Prestige 1 Showcase, cool, we saw that. So first one they talk about is Prestige 350 level. Uh, my name is Pain Operator Skin. You get Prestige 4 level 50, Atomic Commando XM4 Assault Rifle Blueprint. Uh, Prestige 5, Absolute Loss Toro Operator Skin. Prestige 6, you're going to get a Robot Abomination SWAT 556 Marksman Rifle Blueprint. And then Prestige 7, you're going to get the Maya Operator Skin. Become a Legend prestige master levels so you're gonna get these icons i guess they go on the side of your weapon uh and that's a lot of levels prestige master instant reward you're gonna get the sitting bull reborn martial operator i feel like that's a little bit lackluster this dude right here um but may maybe they'll switch it up a little bit prestige master level 90 you're gonna get the aims blueprint Prestige Master Legacy Icon. Um, you're going to get the Legacy Prestige Icons. So you'll be able to select. So at level 100, you can go ahead and go back to the previous Call of Duty one. So these are all Prestige 1. And then at level 200, I would imagine those would be those Prestiges level 2. So you're pretty much going to have access to every Prestige Icon Call of Duty has ever had. So this one's from Black Ops 4. Uh, and then as you hover over them, it would tell you which ones they're from. Nice. Oh, exactly like I thought. And then at level 1000, you could pick whatever prestige 10 icon you want from any game. W. Uh, as you reach the zenith of the Black Ops 6 career and become a prestige legend at the game's maximum level 1000, expect additional classified rewards for your incredible progress. Only unlocked and redacted when you reach level 1000. Calling card challenges. So global systems overview so cool they got it going we're gonna have career battle hardened prestige uh, and that'll be for multiplayer zombies and warzone and then you're gonna have dark ops challenges making a return which are usually a fan favorite sometimes super difficult sometimes super easy and random and some kind of specific setup uh, that's kind of how that goes career and battle hardened are not the only calling uh card challenges categories in each mode available at launch players who prestige will also gain access to additional challenges um, multiplayer zombies and warzone uh, which added in season one each time they enter a new prestige with 10 prestiges and prestige master means an additional 11 challenge sets to complete dang okay so it'll be the it'll be like how they had it in cold war once you got past the prestige system and they were doing the the other weird one, uh, where it's like every 55 levels or 50 levels, it was giving you a new prestige. Then you get access to new set of challenges. Uh, for the first time ever, Dark Ops calling cards will be present in Warzone. Ooh, yes. And you'll earn Dark Ops Mastery if you get basically all of them in all modes. 100 percenter will be there available for multiplayer zombies and Warzone, uh, which is kind of cool. I always, I mean, I like these style calling cards just because there's a lot of work around them. Uh, and then note only career battle hardened and prestige challenges count towards 100%. Uh, so it's just the base version and then dark ops don't count because it really never has calling card reward highlights with over 450 to unlock. Uh, here's selection. Boom. Okay. So cool. I mean, just cool calling cards, whatever 
Weapon camos. Nice. This is probably one of the most important parts. I think a lot of people get hyped about. Some people are like, they're just skins. Who cares? People care. What does it matter? Who cares? <laughs> Quit being a hater. All right. No weapon leveling needed. Unlocking weapon camos in Black Ops 6 is accessible from the moment you get your hands on the weapon. No weapon leveling required. This is the first time they're doing this. Earn camos at your own pace without any barriers. Unlocking weapon camos. Each weapon's quest for final mastery camo, dark matter, nebula, and abyss for each of those respective modes is broken down into three steps. You're gonna have your military camos, which is this first set, and then you're gonna have special camos, and then you're gonna have the four mastery camos. Uh, and that's for multiplayer, zombies, and then at season one, we'll get Warzone. Each weapon's camo journey begins with nine military camos. So for multiplayer, it's as simple as headshots. Zombies, critical kills, headshots. Warzone, basic elimination. That means that in multiplayer, just earning headshots will uh, with the weapon will progress through and unlock the nine named military camos. Kind of a little bit of exception to this. This doesn't probably work with RPGs or, or launchers and melee weapons. Other than that, 100 headshots, pretty straightforward. Military camos must be unlocked individually per weapon. For example, if you've unlocked the first multiplayer camo granite uh, for the aims, it will be equipped to the aims in multiplayer zombies and war zone but not to any other weapon until you've separately unlocked granite with that weapon. Okay, I don't really end up using hardly any of these base camos. It's usually the special or the mastery that you're going to end up uh, enjoying. Complete all nine mastery camos for the weapon in the mode of your choice, and the next step in the journey is special camos. Each weapon has two unique special camo swatches per mode that can only be earned with that weapon only, which makes sense. Special camos can be unlocked in any order once you've gained access to them so either the first or the second one so that that's pretty cool and it, it's usually geared towards the the weapon style which makes sense uh it might be long shots with the rifle or that hopefully it's not that stupid stun with a whatever a tactical while you kill them uh that, those are a pain in the butt once unlocked special camos can be our universal and can be equipped to any weapon right master camos with the military camos and both special camos unlocked Specific weapons, your weapon camo grind enters its final phase. Mastery camos. As previously revealed, Black Ops 6 has four of them. Uh, multiplayer, zombies, and for the first time, Warzone. Uh, so that'll be a total of 12 mastery camos. Base, gold. Nice. Multiplayer, diamond, uh, dark spine, and then we have dark matter. That's just going to be for the base version of multiplayer. Uh, for gold, uh, zombies, we got mystic gold, opal, uh, Afterlife as well as Nebula. Uh, so cool looking ones. And then for Warzone, once the season one integration happens, we'll have Gold Tiger, King's Ransom, which I'm not really a fan of. I don't know if people liking that one. And then we have Catalyst, which I think looks okay. A little bit of color changing. And then we have Abyss, which I think looks be better than it did in the trailer. I don't know. How to unlock Master Camo. So Master Camo Tier 1. So this is Gold, Mystic Gold, and Gold River. Access by earning all nine. So pretty straightforward. And then mastery camos in tier two. You got to unlock diamond, opal, kings. Okay. And this one, you have to get all the ones in the category. So if there's seven assault rifles, you got to get all seven. If there's two launchers. You got to get the two launchers. Pretty straightforward. For the tier three, uh, which is the dark spine afterlife catalyst, uh, you'll have access to this uh, for design for a number of weapons across. So this is after you've gotten 33 of the uh, weapons. Uh, so basically once you've gotten all of those diamond, opal, and king's ransom uh, for that individual mode. And then mastery tier four is basically once you've done all of it, right? Uh, once you've done the dark, spine camo for all 33 weapons in multiplayer it'll give you the dark matter now on to reticle challenges i, I obviously it would been cool if they showed us what the the second challenges were um but regardless uh it, we're gonna find out you gotta get headshots before you get to that point anyways right reticle challenge system overview i'm glad they brought this back we've been we've been wanting this since cold war i think it was best in modern war for 2019 uh just because we got the blue dot and we got some other like clean crosshairs and high zoom optics so worth doing so reticle customization and challenges can be accessed within the gunsmith to gain access to reticle challenges and customization you must first equip an optic attachment to your weapon once equipped with an optic head to the customize tab and in the gunsmith and you'll enter the reticle menu from here you'll see your progress through 10 reticles available in each mode as well as have access to any reticle 
rewards you gain via other means. So there's 10 reticles to unlock in each mode. That's 30 reticles uh, just for that like reflex, high zoom, low zoom, or whatever. You got the various ones. Each of the optics available reticles can be unlocked by getting kills while aiming down sight in an applicable mode with the optic equipped. Reticle challenges unlock are bound to each individual optic not any specific weapon this means and then obviously the optics are tied to the weapon class this means that you can make progress towards reticles from your favorite optic with any compatible weapon whenever you're using the optic your progress towards its next reticle unlock unlock a reticle and you can fix it so it sounds like it's specific to the specific reticle or the specific optic versus before it was like a family of optics so prefer optic availability optic availability note all weapons share optics but some weapons like sniper rifles have specialized optics are only available for particular weapon types check your optics list in game for all of those that are available and here's a quick little look at those so we got the basic red dot um no real blue dot they're letting us down they better be holding out all right, cool. So mastery badges. So those are long term. They even added some for lethals, tacticals, score streaks, and field upgrades. Interesting. Become an expert. Showcase your proficiencies. So you're going to get different badges. Each weapon and piece of gear has its own multiplayer and zombies mastery badges. So you're going to have bronze, silver, and again gold with a stat tracker. Ooh, badges of progression uh, by being successful with each piece of equipment. Here are some examples. So weapon. Get elimination with the weapon. Frag. Get kills. Prox alarm. Kills enemies while detected by your AI, uh, your prox alarm. Trophy system. Intercept enemy projectiles with your trophy. Get RCXD kills. So uh, this is kind of crazy. Uh, you can see kind of you've worked through those specific progressions. This is four, eight, three, one elimination. So because it obviously added the tracker. Diamond badge upgrade and mass uh, category mastery. Unlock the mastery badge for the required number of item types in each category and all mastery badges will automatically receive a diamond badge upgrade p bonus to boot for example in multiplayer players can earn diamond badges for score streak categories by earning gold mastery badges with 18 score streaks the number of score streaks they are hooking it up with the grind for anyone who wants to grind you're gonna have something to do and you could just showcase those and you could just choose whichever one reward highlights uh, below you'll find selection mastery badges available basically each of the streaks will have them uh, as well as the individual uh things there so even they have them for the for the zombies stuff as well metal collection and these are cool when people want to track nukes or or high kills oh my god ten thousand merciless kills or whatever oh man i died off a, a nuke 17 times you can see the difference between a 25 and a 30 streak metal collection distinguished metals uh new in black ops 6 are distinguished medals medals are a curated set of medals that highlight specific skill-based feats in each medal category each medal category distinguished medals are clearly displayed at the top of the category so it'll just put the what we would consider the most important ones at the top that maybe they spent a little bit more time man bro all right cool i'm hyped for the game uh, obviously uh, i mean i'm ready to grind see you guys in the next one thank you for watching as always have a great day